Today we're we'll breaking down the Duo Trios World Record for Rebirth Island from the perspective of Night, which streams over on Twitch as well as uploads regularly on YouTube. Links will be down in the description if you want to go and check them out. I would highly recommend it because they get high kills regularly. If you enjoy the video, learn something new, please do me a favor, hit the like button. If you're brand new, want to find your way back, double check, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. What we do have here on the screen right now to start off is the overall stats that they have. They did go on a 117 win streak, which is also a world record. Um, but one thing I want to um, point out is he kind of has a standard rotation and it'll make sense as we go through the gameplay. He got 17 kills within the first zone, which was an average of 4.3 kills per minute. Second zone was a little bit slower at 3.2. Third zone, 4.4. And then till the end, a little bit slower with only about nine kills, but that all netted up to 46 kills with a three kill average per minute. And what you can see from here, I know it may be a little bit smaller, but he tends to start at prison rotates down, then comes back around. He ended up dying. And then you can see these little clusters of the same colors within the certain zones. So there's a little bit of red here. Then he focuses on green, rotates over here to control, ended up getting this pinkish color and then rotated back, finished out with blue. And you can kind of see that spread out, but that was really based off the zone. But all of his gameplays, when you really break them down and look at them, has kind of a similar pattern stays mostly in prison, rotates a little bit by this edge, rotates back a little bit through the house, goes to control, kind of goes back, unless the zone pushes on one far side or the other. That's just the general rotation. We'll talk about why that is so effective. So let's go ahead and take a look at the gameplay. So his duo for this is actually Reed Boy, which is somebody we've covered, which is a console player uh, for Rebirth, who also drops an insane amount of kills. Comes through, wins a one-on-one. -on -one. Obviously he got lucky enough where the guy probably didn't YY. Takes him out, picks up the gun, has a plate. Um, he's gonna have to plate at some point. He's able to essentially third party these other guys fighting. And a lot of times that's what ends up happening. You get really lucky right off the rip. I say lucky because you have a cluster of people that are all fighting each other and they're not shooting you, but they're shooting each other. So you luck out and you get some easy kills. So right off the bat, he's gonna end up with the three kills that we saw. He's gonna rotate from prison and then he's gonna go down on the lower side. So he ended up getting that kill there. Uh, Reed Boy has enough for the loadout, so he's gonna eventually buy that. Uh, another thing that a lot of people, they do when they're going for high kill games, they don't necessarily hurry to get the loadout. Like if they can, they will, but they're gonna focus on just farming these kills. And farming is a technique that players will use to essentially abuse the respawn mechanic. So you can see right now on the mini map, there's only one guy pulsing there. Um, and then hopefully by the time he gets to that kill, it'll pulse two people and then you kill another one. And the, the benefit of doing this is the people, when they come back, you can see two pulses, one atop prison, one floating in. looks like they're floating off to the side. UAV was popped, so they're by the edge of the wall. And what will end up happening is when they come back, they have a crappy pistol. If they land somewhere that was already looted, if they land on their loadout, they have these moments where you're basically shooting somebody that's not going to shoot back. And this is something I've done. I wish I could be a little bit better at it. Uh, but I've done it where there's only like 12 people left. I, I had zero kills. The lobby died. But I'll end up with like 14, 16 kills somewhere in there with the 12 remaining. It's just the key to do that as fast as possible in the beginning while they're spawning in and have that patience um, to not shoot people when essentially you know they're the last alive, right? So he comes through, gets this guy, he's gonna go ahead and ping a couple, one on top prison, and then one looks like they're floating into the left right there. You kind of saw him at the corner of the screen, working his way up, gets killed by a guy who had dead silence um, and ended up having his loadout. So he didn't know he was there, a little bit bad timing. I didn't hear the plating. He gets gunned. The, the DDKs are fast, right? So you can't really afford to do that, but it also allows for a lot of outplay. That's the only death of this match. So he probably could have had a little bit more kills, but you can see he has nine kills with 35 up. Um, but the key is all teams are still intact, right? If it's three, that's a total of 45 players. If every team is full, that essentially haven't been wiped. And that's the goal. You got to try and kill as many people. You can see slide cancels in there, does a little bit of a slide cancel that basically makes it so that the guy can't lock onto the target or track him properly. Comes through. You can see the guys over here on the... It was a pulse. Comes through. Once he kills them, unfortunately, that was the last one. So the other guy must have died somewhere while he was floating in because it looked like there was two pings, I believe. So he's coming through here. You can see this guy here. He's going to go ahead and down him. Thirst him. It looks like there is a guy uh, floating in potentially. No, he's below him. He's below him. You can see him, the little arrow there. 
There it is. Boom. And there it is. So I think there's another guy over here to the right. And there's another one up here. So you can see all these pings are happening. And that's sometimes the, the, the point of like that threshold where you go from getting a certain amount to above that. Because if you can get kills quick enough, then you're going to have a constant UAV without a UAV. Because for every kill, you're getting pings. There's a guy floating in on the right. That's a free kill. He's going to go land safely. And then there's a guy up front here that looks like he got killed. Reed Boy is working the other side of the map. And they're not really interacting with each other. Now they're only down to nine teams. Eight with the, including them. Um, so then you end up like the lobby just got cut in half almost, right? It went from 15. There's another guy in the hallway. He has to back up. He doesn't have the ammo to really chow that. I guess he could have probably bunny hopped, EM2'd the guy. But you you you, you got to be able to play the right way of the situation. He knows he killed the guy up here earlier. He's going to come over and get the ammo. And then replay the situation. Fully plated. Good to go. And things need to go right for you, right? Obviously, when you're going for these world record gameplays, they don't drop 46 kills every match. They drop 20... 20 plus often right i mean their average is 14 so obviously they're not dropping 20 all the time and they also don't always drop double digits they'll drop three kills and then get eliminated but obviously with somebody of his skill that has been doing this for a while um at least the past three seasons you can see his stats have slowly improved it ends up being one of those scenarios where you got a lot of practice in um switch from rebirth um uh, from verdansk over to rebirth and just been maximizing it a lot of people in the sniper tower we've talked about this in other world records you can't really waste your time spending your time on those people he's really chasing this kill gets him looks for the ping there's one down by the by on the bottom side over here um there's somebody gliding in he might be able to get an easy kill on this guy if he landed up hot up top he did get pinged so you get a good idea where the guy is he did land up top he landed on the other edge of the roof he's gonna push that pretty aggressively oh you can hear the guy sliding around the corner looking for any audio cues there is another guy coming up below and there's two one's in the sniper tower these are the perfect teams to farm if you have an enemy in the sniper tower all you need to do is full send them kill them this is a different guy oh no it's the same guy he came back and the other one's up top um like the sniper tower guy is going to be the anchor he's going to be a spawn anchor and he's going to allow the the team to keep coming back so he got another one almost there. He's backing off. There was a guy on the roof there. He wasn't actually in the sniper tower. He was either right there in the window or on the tower. Kind of hard to say. But we are only down to eight teams. He got it down there. We know that their teammate is further. We knew that already before he, he, the guy thirsted himself. Um, but yeah, you can see the pings are on the other side of prison. He's going to go back over work over here. Looked like the guy was on the left. Man, he got a good little jump on the guy. The guy, I think, had a heartbeat out. So there he goes. They're, they're split, doing their own thing. He's already up to 26 kills. There's only 12 players left in the lobby, but with seven teams, you're approximately 21, uh, 21 players. And this is where the farming comes in. We're still in zone two. The spawns don't end until zone four. So as long as you're not wiping teams, you can actually manage that uh, farming effectively. You're going to be able to get a lot of kills. So that guy, he got him down. He thirsted. There's two down over by tents. Easy kills there. Um, he's going to have a good line of sight. Calls the UAV. There's a guy just floated in. He'll be able to jump up, probably get a good line of sight on this guy. You can see him on the mini-map. There's two. I don't know where the other one is on the right. I think he's down low. It's kind of hard to tell because it's a little bit grainy. But he gets his down. Thirst. Now there's two. There's a guy who got ghost who's behind him. You can see the ghost guy is somewhere over here. Um, so if he gets a kill here, he's got to watch out for two players. This guy's in the corner. I thought it was a little bit lower on the other side, but comes through so you can see the ghosted player just sitting out there on the edge last alive so they're not going to go to kill him he's going to focus on this other team which had two people down at tents likely the third person already spawned in this jump is sometimes annoying but he's able to get it and then he's going to go ahead and peek this dude on the right that you can see pretty plain as day gets a kill there is only one pulse it looks like over here and then the other guy's floating in behind him this guy's the guy with ghost that we were talking about earlier um, we didn't know where he was. We just knew, hey, you know, he's up there. And the guy had ghost. He gets demolished by movement. There's still two guys, one on top prison, um, which is beaming him. Just destroys him because the EM2 is that disgusting, especially off the headies. The, it's just so broken. 
I, I, I mean, it was broken when it came out, and they've only nerfed it a couple times, which kind of made it better, because they only affected the recoil and not the damage. But it's kind of at that tipping point, if they made it any worse, it would just not be usable, probably. So there it goes. You know there's two people here, I think. There's that one, so now you know there's one further down. He's leaving him alone, he's like, eh. He downed him. You can hear the last one here. And that's sometimes what will happen too. You'll get the free kills from these dumb players where they're like, I need to come back and kill you, but they're gonna come back without loadout. They're gonna come back without anything. So there's one over by the water. This guy's probably landing on loadout. He gets it down there. There's one by the water. Can't really see where they were, but he has good cover right here of the wall. Thirst him. There's a guy down low. He gets that one. Easy kill and transition. Then there's still one behind him, and then there's one in front of him. So these are two teams that he's killing right now, and then the respawns are gone. So that's it, right? He's up to 36 kills. I know obviously this is a fast-paced game. We're talking pretty fast, but there are a lot of these elements, and a lot of it comes down to farming. He does get shot at uh, multiple times, but a lot of times he's rotating around these power positions and able to get some easy kills. Comes through, knew where the guy was. A lot of times what people don't realize is they camp like it's Verdansk, not knowing that when you get a kill, you know exactly where they're at. The guy's on top of prison right here, um, so he's gonna, he can't get a streak or anything. He could have possibly bought plates, but didn't do any of that. He's rotating up top here. We know there's a guy above, and it looks like there might be a guy rotating. Yep, he's on the further side. Comes through, takes him out. Pretty easy, and the guy probably was like, I don't know he was there, but they had the, the awareness to know where they were. Comes through. This is an aggressive push. That guy's running for his life. He just aggressively takes it. Knows he can jump off. Some people would probably pull a shoot. Gets the money. So now that that's going to be important for a little bit later on. And then now he's already up to 40. He's getting shot by this guy that came back from the loot. Dumpstered him. Totally smoked him. No regrets, buddy. Um, so, yeah. He comes through. Smokes that dude. And... A lot of that was movement. He kind of took a bad push. I don't think... I didn't hear the guy land. There's the thirst. And then there's only two players left. And here's another strategy that definitely helped here. Is they ended up getting this kill. See, Reed Boy's uh, assisting now. He's like, ah, oh, you're going to break your PR. Let's get it. He got no aim assist because the rock. Are uh, we going to break the record? I don't know what it is. So they're doing the math, trying to figure it out. And they get really lucky here. So the other guy's back. So it's a 2v1. They know it's just one guy. There he is. And they're like, oh, man, is he going to do it? Reed Boy just dropped like 10 grand on the lo loadout or uh, on the floor there. So the, hopefully the guy will buy it. He comes over here. He drops the money. So hopefully the guy will grab it and buy back his teammates. Maybe a gas mask. I mean, this could play bad for them. But I think they're in a, they're pretty confident that things are going to go their way. So... When you're looking at it this way, it's like, uh, you know, this has happened in other world records where you get lucky enough where the people just don't know better. They think, oh, man, there's free money, especially if you get really lucky and, and you're uh, like an easier lobby than the average lobby you are typically in. So he got that kill. The other two guys come back in. And then it's kind of a hassle for a little bit. Uh, I say that because they, they fish them for a little while until they can actually get them. Uh, and then once they land... He's going to go ahead and get this kill, and he's just waiting for the rotation. I skipped a little bit ahead just because they basically waited for like 45 seconds. And he's obviously using the meta weapons. EM2 is like the perfect long-range weapon for Rebirth, and OTS is just all-around best SMG. You could argue some SMGs are better in one category, but as an SMG, the OTS is just nasty. So there it goes. 46 and 21 and he actually streams every single day this is his actual live stream if you want to go ahead and check him out like i said i will leave a link down in the description so if you want to go ahead and follow him subscribe support his youtube content so as you can see he's a little bit smaller on youtube but he has started to post pretty regularly so i highly recommend checking him out if you enjoyed the video do me a favor hit the like button if you're brand new you want to find your way back just double check make sure you are subscribed with notifications on thank you for watching as always have a great day